hands have a praise. Amen. Let's give the apostle a hand have a praise. Amen. I thank God for that wonderful word. Hallelujah. Amen. We gotta learn that we gotta do for God and God wants to do for us. Amen. We can't. I don't know about people, you know. People that don't want to do anything for God, yeah. say they love God and stuff like that, they be lying, they, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how you can do it. Yes. We're going to go to uh, Isaiah 59, amen. Praise Yeshua. And we're going to be over really on the same subject, amen. Today's subject is rebelling and denying Adonai. It's on page uh, 530. 529. 529, okay. Amen. amen. I thank the Lord again for my place of being here today. Amen. Yes, Lord. I thank him, amen. For waking up, I thank him for this uh, Pesach, amen. And today, the second day of Pesach, and today being a Shabbat, amen. I thank the Lord for it, amen. Yes. I thank the Lord for my wife, how you children are spending with how you children and touch their body, giving her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, of the Word of God. Amen. I thank the Lord for that. Praise amen. I thank God for his late mother. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Lord. Lord. Amen. Thank God for having me in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for all our viewers and all of us. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. I Praise the Lord, amen. Thank God for all our children, grandchildren, yes. brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, and nephews, nieces, amen. Praying that they get saved, get delivered, amen. Amen. I just thank the Lord for that. To truly tell us that we have a lot to be thankful for. Yes, Lord. Amen. If we open up our eyes this morning, we have a lot to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for the meal. Passover meal last night, yesterday evening, amen, thank God for that, and, and the work and diligence that the apostle put in to preparing, amen, and I thank God, and I thank the Lord, amen, amen. I'll be out where we come for you, most holy Father, say thank you, thank you for your love, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your grace, I'll be out where we just thank you, Father, for you being God Almighty. Yes. Thank you, Father, for salvation, giving us the opportunity to make it to that kingdom and to stay out of that burning hell, Father. Thank you, Father, for giving us tears to hear that word, Father. Oh, Father. And just ask you, Father, give us the spirit of obedience, Father, to obey all of our mystery statutes and commandments, Father. Help us to live upright before you and before man. In the holy name of Yeshua, I'm going to say we do say amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Everybody have Isaiah 59. Yahshu Yahu. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Amen. You know, a lot of times people think that the Lord can't answer prayer, can't do anything, amen. They think that the Lord's hands are tied, you know, or He won't move for them. Amen. They lost, they lose confidence in God and put their trust and their faith in man and the things that they see. They don't have hope, they don't have faith. If we serve a God of faith, we serve a God that, you know, we put our hope in, our amen. trust in, amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Yes. We got to understand that if Yeshua says something, that he will what accomplish what he says. Yes, amen. he will. We, we serve a God whose word does not fall forward to the ground. Amen. amen. We're not serving a wooden idol, you know, or statue or anything like that. But we're serving a true and living God. Amen. And His Word, you know, He means what He says. Yes, he Amen. Amen. He means whatever He says He's going to do, we can take that, you know, yes. to heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. He says, Adonai's arm is not too short to save. 
Hallelujah. That means God can reach way down no matter what level we are, that He can go up there and save and deliver us. Amen. Amen. I don't care what type of trouble or we find ourselves in, that God is capable of getting us out of that trouble. Yes. Amen. He can deliver. He can save. Yes, He can. As arms are not like us. I know sometimes I might be trying to reach something and I can't reach because my arms are too short. Amen. Can't do anything. Amen. Amen. I try to get some type of extended something that might be able to reach in a lot of times. I can't do that. Still can't reach it. But see, God is not like that. Hallelujah. Whatever God wants to reach, whatever God wants to touch, He's capable of doing it. Yes, Lord. You know. And He has a desire to see all of His creation to be saved. Yes, Lord. And so, if we repent to Him and turn to Him, He can save us. But we have to call out to Him. Yes, Lord. He says, Nor is His ears too dull to hear. God can hear. He hears our cry. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Uh, he'll hear us say, I want to repent. He'll hear us say, oh, I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. I want to, Lord. He'll hear these. Yes, he will. But it's our own sins that stop us. Amen. Our own sin. Our own wickedness. That we don't want to repent. That we want to rebel against God's word. Amen. Amen. It says, Rather, is it not your own crimes that separate you from God, from your God? It's our own crimes, our own sins, our own wickedness, our own evil that separate us from God. Our rebellious ways don't want to reach out to God. Amen. You know, but we we just rather sin and we rather just do wickedness. Know the truth and won't obey it. Yes. Amen. 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 So we have to have a heart mind and we hey, Lord, I, I got to obey you. I want to obey you. Mm -hmm. yes. But most people don't have a heart mind to obey the word of God. Amen. They like Amen. give lip service and say, I want to obey God, but God is not concerned about our lips. Or give him lip service. Amen. It takes action. Amen. Hallelujah. It takes action. We have yes. to be a people of action because we serve a God of action. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you don't do any, uh, I want salvation. I want to be saved. I, uh, but you don't want to make a move for salvation. You don't want to make a move for deliverance. Make a change. Come on. You want to stay in that same rut. You'd rather go up there and find fault. You'd rather make excuses and wrap a wide you can't do. And God is not pleased with that. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, rather it's your own crimes that separate you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you. So that he what doesn't hear? What? Our sins. Our sin. That's how come we have to strive and ask God, help me be free of sin. Where they can hear. Where he'll move. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Let's see. Instead of correcting our sins, we want to get deeper and deeper in sin. We want to rebuild more and more against the word of God. We don't want to do what he said. And we know what to do. We know. You know. Ain't no need of getting angry at God when it's us that's going to stop us. God is not moved. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not stepped away from us. Amen. Yeah, he said, I will never forsake you. Yes. Huh? I will never abandon you. I will never leave you. Yes. But we leave him. Hallelujah. Amen. We leave him through our mistrust, our our uh, hatred of the word. We move away from God. Because we don't want to be told what to do. We don't want to be told how to act. We don't want to be told how to live. Hallelujah. We don't want to be told how to be holy. Hallelujah. We don't want these things. Amen. We want to do things but our own way. Can't do it. Can't 
Thank you. He says, For your hands are stained with blood. You don't want to tell people the truth. You don't want to live holy. You don't want to live righteously. See, when we don't live holy, when we don't live righteously, when we don't tell people the truth, our hands get stained with blood. When we're lying and deceiving others. Yes. Amen. 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 We don't want to do for God. The stain with blood. Amen. And your fingers yes. were crying. Jesus. Your fingers were crying. Want to deceive. Want to steal. Want to rob. Want to rob God. Want to rob God out of tithes, out of offerings, everything. Out of your time, you want to rob God. Your lips speak lies. When we say we love God, don't do nothing for God, what are you doing? Speaking lies. Huh? Telling lies. You want to be holy. I want to be holy, but you don't want to live holy. You want to deceive. Your tongues utter wicked things. Amen. Amen. Because see, a lot of people don't want to control their thoughts. Amen. They don't make the thoughts subject to God. Amen. And we must bring what every thought under subjection yes. to the Lord. And so we just utter anything and everything. Amen. Without thinking the other consequences that what we speak will bring. Amen. Amen. No one sues with just cause. No one pleads honestly in court. They trust in empty words and say worthless things. They conceive trouble and give birth to evil. Giving birth to evil. Giving birth to evil. Every time we stray away from the word of God, that's what we're doing. Giving birth to evil. Amen. Giving birth to wickedness. Every time we try to deceive, being dishonest, being hateful, being covetous, we're birthing what wickedness. Amen. And you sure again it's not pleased. Because see, this is a wicked world. It's a wicked thing that we do. And when we do these things. They hatch viper eggs. They hatch snake eggs. Jesus, evil. Amen. And then you want to know how come you don't receive the blessings that you think that you deserve. We don't deserve the blessings. Amen. Amen. We don't deserve it. No, sir. It's because of God's grace and His mercy that yes. He goes up there in the scriptures. Yes, Lord. So we go around thinking that, oh, I deserve this. God owes me this and God owes me that. God does not owe us a thing. Amen. 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 You don't owe us anything. We owe God. We owe you Yes, sure. sir. Amen. Amen. But we think that this world uh, owes us something. We think people owe us something. Amen. Nah. <laughs> We owe God. Yes, sir. We owe God. Yes, Lord. I know I can. Amen. Yes, I'm sure I'm trying to live. Thank you, Lord. He says, and spin what spider will. Whoever eats their eggs dies. Whoever eats their wickedness and that simple thing because you act in sin because you act in wickedness. You know, people sit up there whispering in your ears to do evil, to do wicked, and you do it. That's the egg that you eat. It's poisonous. And then what? You die from it. Amen. Because what? You lose your salvation. Amen. He says, 
The wells are useless as clothing. The deeds are useless for wearing. The deeds are deeds of the wickedness. The hands produce violence. We see this world right now walking in violence because it was been such a falling away from the word of God. You see such this evil, such dishonesty from the people of called so-called people of God. And the church is going backward on God's word. Amen. Words that you used to stand on, truth that you used to stand on, you have Amen. left it. Amen. Yes. Amen. For the cares of this world. People want names. People want titles. Amen. They want everything but God. Amen. And God is not pleased. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is not pleased. You want these things. People want to be called prophets, apostles, and prophets. And you don't want to walk in the calling, though, but they want your title. Amen. Amen. But when you walk in the calling of an apostle, and you walk in the calling of a prophet, well, a prophet is, or when you walk in the calling of a pastor or a minister, that's a high title. If you walk in the calling of a sister or a brother, high, title. high calling. Amen. A high calling. Yes, sir. Amen. You walk in a calling of a mother, it's a high calling. Yes, sir. And people yes. must go up there and what? Adhere or take or to do that calling. Amen. Yes. Must live by the standards of that calling. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And we're trying to achieve more. Mm -hmm. Should not just be wanting to be standing at one level at all times, not growing. Only grow. God wants to grow. You want to want to be more. You want to see God yes, and the people of God to be saved, to yes, be delivered. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. But people want these titles not for the growing of the kingdom of God. Most people want these titles for they can what be looked up to, for they can be called out in the square uh, in the squares. Amen. In the cities. On the high places. Oh, that's such and such a person. Oh, call him on up. Let's sit. Let's rub elbow. Useful life. That's what you Useful life. A useless life. Yes, sir. That's what A useless life. Because mm -hmm. you're not living there. Amen. Anytime we don't live for you, sure. Anytime we don't live for God, we're not living. Hallelujah. Because you're dead. Amen. Walking dead. Yes, sir. You know, the only thing I care about is about the cares of this world. Cares of this world. God said forsake the cares of this world. He said seek the kingdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. But, but we do the opposite. We seek the cares of this world and forget about God. So true. And Yeshua sure is not pleased. Not pleased at all. Hallelujah. See, it shows what the stubbornness and the rebellious spirit that we have against God. Amen. And he's not pleased. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says. Their feet run to evil. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't get people to come to the house of God. You can't get them to come and do things in the house of God. But to do evil, they'll run to do evil. Amen. To do wickedness, they'll run to do wickedness. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 In a hurry to do sin. We do that that is holy? Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. They even slow down on you. Amen. Oh, we got something holy to do. No, let me slow down then if we got to do something holy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They rush to shed innocent blood. The thoughts are thoughts of wickedness. Their past leads to havoc and ruin. And when you have thoughts of violence, when you have thoughts of wickedness to do that, that is evil, 
Amen. You say it's going to come to ruin. Amen. Because you won't be able to make it into the kingdom of God. You're going to come to ruin. You may think that, hey, look, uh, hey, hell is all right. I don't spend eternity in hell, but I'm telling you. Huh. Breaking God's word, going against his commandments, going against his statutes. It's going to get you in hell. Yes, Amen. It will get you in hell. Yes, it will. And you're not going to be pleased when you open up your eyes in hell. Yes, so you might think that, hey, oh, oh, it's all right. I hear people talking about hell is right here on earth. You ain't faced no type of hell here on earth compared to the hell that you will get for eternity. You ain't even came close to it. You might, you might have been shot, you might have been cut, you might have been beaten here on earth, amen. Might have been burned, everything. There still ain't going to be no comparison to hell. You might have faced all types of cruelty, amen. Yes. Abuse, misuse. There's still no comparison to hell. Amen. Because no matter what we went through here on earth, no matter what type of pain or agony that we went through here, here on earth, at one point or another, we did get, if it was just for a brief second, a brief moment, you did get some type of form of relief. Yes, sir. But there's no type of relief there yeah. in hell. No, sir. Hallelujah. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Hallelujah. And the pain is so intense. It's not a pain like in the world. No, sir. Even the birth of labor pains mm -hmm. is not comparable to the pains and suffering. Hallelujah. In hell. In hell. Amen. But people still don't want to repent of the sins and repent of the wickedness and turn to God. They still say they'd rather go to hell. Understand. In the wickedness of this day, and the things that God is bringing upon them, the warnings that God gives upon them, the people still won't repent and turn to God. Won't repent of their wicked ways, won't repent of their sins. They won't say they all right and God is wrong. Me, I can only tell people so much, so much, and God said, hey, just. Tell them you love them. And keep on going. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I can't let nobody lead me from the pathway that God has what given us to do. No, sir. I can't turn aside. I can't I can't step off the, the highway Amen. for a second. Can't step off the highway and say, well, come on, I'm stopping right here and wait for you. Uh-uh. Got to keep going. Amen. You got to keep on going. I don't care who wants to come, who don't want to come. I got to run. Amen. Got to run, run, run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, The way of shalom they do not know. They're going about, they're going about obeying no law. They don't obey any law. Uh -uh. They don't obey the laws of Yeshua. When it says no law, they won't obey the laws of Yeshua. They refuse to take the word of God into their heart. Amen. Amen. They refuse to live by it. Okay. You tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. No, I'm not going to do it. 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 Stubbornness. Hard headedness. Amen. Amen. He says, 
They make devious paths for themselves. No one treading them will ever know shalom. If you go on these paths that you set for yourself, of doing evil and doing wickedness, you will never have shalom. You will never have peace. You will never make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. God said, I'm not holding you back from coming to me. You're holding yourself back. Amen. 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 God says, I make it easy for you to come to me. Yes. I stretch out my hand to you, yet you still rebel. Yet you still turn away from me. I show you love and you show me hate. You rebel against me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is why justice is far from us. And righteousness doesn't catch up with us. Why? Because of our rebellious spirits. You know. I can righteousness catch up with us we don't want to do with righteousness. Every time we we, we want to Go against God's word. Go against the spirit of God. You want to do that, that is evil. Want to do that, that is wicked. How can righteousness catch up with you? It won't. And keep on running, escaping the Lord. It won't. Huh? Thank you, Lord. He says, We look for light, but see only darkness. For brightness, but we walk in gloom. We grow for the wall like the blind. Like people without eyes, we feel our way. And you can act like you're blind and just trying to feel your way through. Like you have no guidance because you don't want to grab hold of the light of your sure. You don't want the truth and the love of God. You trust in your ways rather than obeying the spirit of Yeshua. Oh God, have mercy, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. He says, We stumble at noonday as if it were dust. We are in dark places like the dead, just like the dead. Places are so dark. Fears are so dark. Hearts are so dark. So much sin, so much wickedness, so much evil, so much covetousness, so much greed. And you want to know why you sure is not happy, why he's so displeased. We look at God and we say, God, you're not worth it. You're not worth it of my love. You're not worth it of my trust. That's what we tell God. And we're the one that's not worth it of God. Hallelujah. We're the ones that are not worth it of God. But we tell God, He's not worth it of us. We growl, all of us, like bears. We moan pitifully like doves. We look for justice, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far from us. Why is it far from us? But yet again, we still won't do. We still won't obey. We still won't trust for sure. We want to trust in what we can see and that's it. That is just not trust. That's not faith. Hallelujah. That's not even hope. Amen. Amen. Well, if I can't see it, huh? I ain't got nothing to do with it. He says, for our crimes multiplied 
before you. What did you say? Our sins multiply before God. Instead of decreasing them, we increase them. We try to find more ways to make God angrier and angrier at us. Like stupid little fools going around in circles. Doubting the power and the glory of God, denying it. Rather walk away in the, rather walk in the cesspool in the septic tank than walk in the hands of God. Oh, no. Don't take me out of the septic tank, God. I like it here. I like this stench. I like this thing. I like this feel. Picking up that field, wearing it, rubbing it all on them. And then want to get a bottle of cologne or perfume and spit and, and spray it, spell, uh, spray it on. I apply it. You can't apply cologne on poop and think that it's gonna go up there and smell good. No, sir, not at all. You can pour as much cologne on poop all you want to. It's not going to make it smell good. Hey, Amen. On the field. That's what and that's where our sins are before God. Amen. And you won't allow the cleaner, the cleanser to come and cleanse us, the purge us. Now we rather stay in the septic tank of sin. And God's not pleased with that. Thank you, Lord. He says, For our crimes are present with us. And our sins, we know them well. We know how we sin against God. It's not like we don't know. Amen. Amen. We know. Amen. Have we have been or heard any of the word of God? We know. Amen. We, we heard it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. He says, For our crimes are present with us, and our sins we know them well. Rebuilding and denying a done act. See, we want to rebel against the word of God, we want to deny him, amen, and what to do. Amen. Amen. What's holy? We don't want to do that. I know people were thinking they're hoping and praying that we cancel out on the holy days. Fine. One. Uh -huh. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to see the holy days. That's wicked. That is just wicked. I'm praying that, oh, hope we don't have church tonight. Hope we don't have church tonight. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to be in the house of God. That's wicked. Yes, it is. That's wicked. Amen. I want to dwell in the spirit of witchcraft and evil and food. Sinful deeds. In darkness. I want to swim in the septic tank and drink the and eat out of it. Filthy. 
Nie. Rebel and deny a deny. Turning away from following our God. Talking about oppression and revolt. People don't want to follow the word of God. They don't want to follow the Bible. They don't want to follow the Torah and Dante. People go to schools of theologies and think that they have knowledge and wisdom of God. But how can you have wisdom of God without the Holy Ghost, without the Holy Spirit? What's it, denying the very power of God? When all you everything that you teach goes against what the Bible says, you got you got you got your answers. You got your excuses. Oh no, we don't have to obey that. We don't have to obey this. We don't have to obey that. You go up there and take it out and take it out all the pages out of the Bible, out of the Word of God, and say, you know, I don't. You don't have to do it. But well, yet you want to go up there and say that you know God, you love God. But you won't do a thing that he says to do. You make an excuse for why you won't do what God says to do. And yet you want to go up there and call yourself a pastor, you want to call yourself a prophet, prophetess, popes and cardinals. Not so. Bishops. And yet you won't obey the word of God. Well, you may be popes, you may be cardinals, because God has said in his word that, hey, the devil himself tries to appear as a minister of life. Amen. But full of darkness and full of evil, full of wickedness. Amen. And those examples you want to follow. He said the truth, the way of God is too rough, it's too hard for me. That's because your rebellious, the rebellious of the heart. Wickedness. You got used to swimming in that cesspool in that septic tank. And don't want to be cleansed. You get a breath of fresh air and it's about to kill you because you got so used to the stench and the stink of the poop. Oh my God. You're gonna ate the sin and the evil and wicked for so long that truth hurts you. That's it. I'm mad. Truth and righteousness makes you angry. Mm. He says, talking about oppression and revolt, uttering lies which our hearts have conceived. He said, our own hearts have made up these lies. People sit up there lying about the Shabbat. They had a person go up there trying to tell me that you keep the Shabbat, then you got me go up there and slaughter animals and all that type of stuff. Where do you see that in the Bible? Huh? Conceit. Con is conceived in their head. Have not read the scriptures fully. No Don't have understanding because what? They read with the cardinal mind. You cannot understand the scriptures with cardinal mind. Amen. So you got to walk in holiness. You got to walk in righteousness. Yes, sir. So we have to be in the spirit of God. We have to be led by the spirit. Yes, Amen. Well, see, the cardinal mind will conceive ideas of why you don't have to obey God, why you don't have to do this, and why you don't have to do that. That's what the cardinal mind will do. Yes, it will. But see, the doctrine of men, the doctrine, and when I say the doctrine of men, it's the doctrine of the devil, will make you think that the doctrine of men is right. Amen. And that the doctrine of God is wrong. Awesome. Will make you think that the holy word of God is wrong. The doctrine of men will do that. The doctrine of men will have you thinking that because you obey the word of God and you strive to do that is holy, strive to do that that is righteous, that you are wrong and they're right. Amen. Show sure up, Chief Apostle. 
God knows the real sometimes. I love you, God. The doctor and the man go up there to have you thinking that you're crazy for obeying God. It's not. But we're not. Come on, I don't even pay attention to the doctor and the man. No, sir. Don't be wrong with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. you know, God stretched out his hand. I'm glad I held his hand. Amen. I'm asking him to wash me, cleanse me, and purge me. Yay. And that's on a daily basis. I can almost feel on an every moment basis. Amen. No, sir. I want to be cleansed. I want to be purged. I want to be holy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And see, I can't just say it with my lips. I got to go up there and be do. I have to take actions to do. Amen. In my heart. Amen. Walk around saying I want to be holy. Walk around saying I want to be righteous. Does me no good. Amen. I got to live it. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. The person came through yesterday and I was praying to God about this person. I said, God, what are you what, what, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I was tired. You know, I was already tired. Amen. Amen. And but I had to pray to God anyway, so I always to have a connection with God. I was telling him, you know, right now we really don't have much time to talk with him because it's just coming in and she's getting ready for uh peace out, amen. I was so tired I couldn't even see what, what holy day we're getting ready to get ready for. Amen. I'll tell you the truth, I mean I was pretty really tired. Yes, sir. I was, all, I was already uh, 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 tired and had a lot of work to do and was getting behind and then we had to leave and then we had to get ready to leave for uh, a possible to get her uh, medication and stuff like that because she couldn't, she was no way that she could drive. She'd been hopping along all week trying to get things ready for God's house and stuff like that and again had no help. Amen. People knew. Finally, granddaughter came by. Amen. Our granddaughter came by and helped it on out with something. Amen. A sinner. Amen. A sinner. Amen. Amen. At least you know shake your feet. Amen. 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 Don't shake your feet. Amen. She is what she is. She knows what she is. She knows Amen. the way. She knows the word of God. Amen. 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 Not gonna shake your feet and try to pretend like you say. In fact, I thank God for that for most of our children. Amen. They don't shake your feet. Amen. How you gonna shake your pig, act like you say, act like you do, but you don't do a thing for God? Woo! Don't even have an intent of doing anything for God. I thank God, though. God knows it all, and He sees it all. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, Thus, justice is repelled. Can't get justice. Amen? Amen. Because what? It repels because of sin. Yes. Amen. Because of iniquity. You want to know why there's so much injustice in this world, but look at our hearts. That's true. Huh? Look at our hearts. Look at what yes. we do for God. Yes. How do you have justice in this world and you don't want to serve the, the God of justice. You don't want to serve the God of Shalom. Hallelujah. We don't want to teach our children the pathways of God and we want to know why there's so much injustice. Amen. We can see people driving up and down the highway looking for somebody to kill, looking for somebody yes, to steal sir. from, somebody to rob, yes, to do sir. harm, to do wicked, to do violence. Amen. Amen. 
Stay on the blue. We can just look at ourselves. We just don't think they just look in the mirror. Yes, sir. Amen. Just look in the mirror. Yes, sir. It's repealed. Righteousness stands apart at a distance. Amen. Amen. Righteousness stands apart at a distance. Hallelujah. In other words, no righteousness. No righteousness whatsoever. Hallelujah. Why? Because of evil and wickedness of the heart. Amen. Amen. He says, for truth stumbles in the public court. Yes, sir. Can't find truth, can't find righteousness in the court, too. No, sir. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Mm -mm. You see it. We see it in our own families, you know. You know, I found some family member might have committed a crime, but then the crime that they get, they get unfair justice for it. Amen. 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 You know, we got we got we got a nephew. Amen. I know everybody say, hey, well, I, you know, they want to spend money on that stuff. But see, we need some prayer going on. Amen. Amen. We need godly things going on in the life. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Family should be united. In prayer and in being obedient to the word of God so that God can take actions, amen, yes. and move. Yes, sir. You can't get family to get together. You can't get family to stand together on the word of God. Amen. Some junk, okay? Not the word. In the ways of the world, they want to stand. Mm -hmm. But in the way of God, they want to what? Separate. Amen. So true. Amen. It's the truth. Amen. I'll say it again. The crime that he did does not deserve 139 years, 140 no, sir. years. No, sir. When people you see people going up there killing children, murdering murdering children, babies, mm -hmm. throwing them off bridges and whatever not, making it 25 years. He can throw five, six, seven babies off. So true. Intentionally. Yes, sir. And they can get out. Yeah, that's right. You can shoot them up. You can go around shooting up and killing everybody. You can shoot, shoot up and kill 50 people and get 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But because of an accident and because you stand boldly as a man. Come on. You get 139 years because you're black. Amen. Amen. No justice. No justice. See, that's an evil. Yeah, and God is going to judge. For all these so-called preachers and teachers and whatever not, they're not looking at all this stuff. Uh-uh. And you have time. They go up and down the street marching about this and that, you know. Mm -hmm. so marching so for gay rights. Mm -hmm. A homosexual right. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. A homosexual right, the, the only right you got is repent of the sin. Repent. repent of your sin. Repent of your wickedness. Amen. And you got preachers getting mad because you say you call homosexuality a sin. The Bible, God calls it a sin. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And yes, he does. You got a preacher going over there calling it oh. You shouldn't preach against that. You shouldn't sin. Uh, you shouldn't uh, talk about that. The devil is a lie. Amen. Amen. You got preachers that's supposed to be in the pulpit, pulpit to talk about they know God. Go on their talk and say, don't talk against sin. Oh, just tell them, God just loves you. Well, God does love you. He does love us. That's the truth. But he also said, tell you about your sin. He said, tell you the road. Yes, sir. 
about the wickedness of their ways. Yeah. And he don't love sin. And how God hates sin. That's right. Oh, now don't do that. Sugar coated. The devil is like, won't get no sugar coated word here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come, yeah. Come, come. Hallelujah. If I had to get a mirror and talk to myself in the mirror, hey. Hey, glory. <laughs> that glory on. be given to God then. Amen. Hey, hey, I'll preach to myself then. Amen. Hey, come on here. Uh huh. <laughs> come on here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, glory. That's what we need to start doing anyway. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Cause I know that this word it comes from me before it comes yes, to you. Yes, yes. Come on. Ooh. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Cause I'm not above the word of God. No, sir. Uh uh. -uh. I be crying out, praying, Hey, Lord, you help me, you help me, you help me. Yeah. Help me. yeah. I can't dare tell you that my heart is always right. It's always. In a holy way. No, sir. I can't tell you that. I want it to be. No. I have a desire for it to be. I have to strive for it. Amen. Strive. But when every time I think I'm almost there, God shows me myself. Amen. He yes. lets me see myself. Yes. Again. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. One thing I say, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. More cleaning, some more yes, and uprightness cannot enter. Uprightness cannot enter into the court. Because so much sin, so much wickedness. So much evil. The judge is evil. The jury is evil. The lawyers are evil. The ones that commit the crime are evil and wicked. Everybody walk around in sin and want to know how come there's no justice. Look at ourselves. Look at us. Amen. Look, examine ourselves yeah. and see where this evil is being birthed from. He said we conceive it in our hearts. Yes, Lord. So true. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Honesty is lacking. People are not honest anymore. Amen. Amen. He who leaves evil becomes a target. If you leave evil, if you turn away from sin, you repent of your sins, you become a target then. Uh-huh. People hate you. Yes, sir. For what? Want to be holy. Strive to do what Amen. such as you should. That is so true. But then I saw it, and it what it, it displeased him. him. It displeases the Lord. That there was no justice. Huh? That there was what? No, no justice. justice. God said, Here I am the God of truth, here I am the God of honesty, here I am the God of justice, and there's no justice. No, what's it? Here I am a God of love and there's no love. Amen. Here I am a God of truth and people want to lie. If people lie about fair back first get mad because so you know, God December twenty fifth is not Christ's birthday. If it's not found in the Bible, it's a lie. Uh! Wanna cry about it. Instead of telling them about uh, uh, how Easter is pagan ho uh, holiday, people get mad about that. Amen. Because they tell you that Christ died on a Friday and rose on a Sunday morning. That's a lie. Amen. He preached in Easter and talking about that Christ died on a Friday and rose on a Sunday morning. You done told a lie. Amen. But they want you to believe the lie. If you don't believe that lie, then they're going to be mad. They're going to be angry. Mm -hmm. 
Because why they don't have understanding of the word because why they carnal minded. Yes, sir. They walk around in stupidity. Yes. And think that they're intelligent, and thinking that they're bright. Yes, sir. When we go against the word of God, we're not bright, we're not intelligent, we're nothing but stupid fools. Amen. So, Amen. So true. Amen. Amen. It's the truth in that. People want to go up there and, and, and go Easter shopping, Easter eggs, hunting, all that type of stuff. Talking about, hey, I, I love Christ. You don't love. You sure? You don't even understand who the Messiah is. Amen. Come on. But you want to serve God in a form and a fashion and think that you're all right. You want to serve God, the God of truth, the God of love, the God of shalom with your lies and evil and wicked ways. Can't do it. God is not accepting that. Amen. So true. God is not accepting that. No, sir. No. Mm -hmm. But you want to get mad. You can get mad, you can get angry all you want. God is not going to change. Repent. God is not going to change. No, no. He's not going to accept the evil. He's not going to accept the wicked. No, sir. He says, I will destroy the evil. I will destroy the yes. wicked. I say, I will pay the wages of sin with what? Death. Yeah. Amen. With death. People say, well, I'm not going to die. I ain't you. You are going to die. You are going to be separated from God. Amen. You are going to spend eternity in hell. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Amen. Amen. You walk around in your fornication, you walk around in lies, you walk around in your homosexuality, and you walk around in any sin or any wickedness, disobedience, rebellion against God's word, you will spend eternity in hell. Amen. I don't care how you do good deeds all day long, what you call good deeds, and you still, if you want to obey God's word, you're still going to go up there and spend eternity in hell. And that burning hell, I guess so. Amen. Amen. That's the truth in her. Amen. Show them. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He was, he saw that there was no one, was amazed that no one interceded. Therefore his own arm brought him salvation, and his own righteousness sustained him. He put on righteousness as his what breastplate, salvation as a helmet on his head. Yes. He clothed himself with garments of vengeance mm -hmm. and wrapped himself in a mantle of zeal. He repays according what to their needs. Fury to his foes, reprisals to his enemies. To the coastlands he will repay their due. In the west they will fear the name of Adonai and likewise in the east his glory. God said, I'm going to bring my vengeance upon you. Amen. Amen. God won't pay you. Mm -hmm. Hey, people walk around here doing all sorts of evil things. Rebelling, continue on rebelling against the word of God. But guess what? You shall get repaid. Amen. Yes. Amen. God's going to pay you back. Yes, he is. And you might say, well, God can't pay me back. Uh-uh-uh, he can't do that to me. God said he was. That's right, that's right. God is not going to, hey, God is not going to let his word fall void to the ground. Amen. If people don't want to repent, God said, I'm not going to make you repent. No, yes, Lord. People want you to go up there. And, and, and give them an excuse to rebel against God's word. I'm not going to give you no excuse to rebel against God's word. No, sir. I'm not going to be in agreement with your sin, with your wickedness. Amen. You're not going to make me a part of, a partake of your sins. Uh-uh. I tell you the truth. Now, you, what you do with it, that's what you do with it. Amen. If you want to rebel against God's word, hey, ain't nothing I can do to stop you. I'm not going to get a gun out and point it to your head and say, don't sin. Amen. I'm not going to do that because that make me a sin. That's right. Amen. Amen. So that'll true. make me wicked. Mm -hmm. So true. Now, I 
we'll tell you, hey, what you doing is sin. We'll tell you, hey, that, that's wicked. But I ain't gonna go up there and, and jump out in front of you. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna go, hey, I done told you. We done told you what the word said. Amen. It's not us that speaks. It's what the word of God said. Amen. I don't make, I don't, hey, I don't name sin. God has already named what sin is. Whatever God calls a sin, that's a sin. That's a sin. Whatever God calls wicked is wicked. Yeah. Whatever the sure calls evil is evil. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's what we had to understand. Yes, Lord. He says, he put on righteousness as his breastplate, salvation as his helmet on his head. He clothed himself with garments of vengeance and wrapped himself in a mantle of zeal. He repays according to their deeds. Fury to his foes, reprisal to his enemies. To the coastlands he will repay their due. In the west they will fear the name of Adonai. And see, that's what's, like, what's going on now. People do not fear Adonai. They don't fear God. God can be put fear into. Amen. Amen. And you might think that God can't put no fear on you, but God put fear on you sometimes when you hear thunder and lightning, put fear on you. I don't know about anybody else, you know. Sometimes, hey, I don't care what I be doing. And sometimes, hey, that thunder, I hear that lightning, hey, I'm ready to jump sometimes, you know? So true. No. Mm-hmm. But I tell you one thing, we will make sure our heart is right with God. Amen. God gonna put some fear in people. We we'll always say, she told me that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about running around that high and bump baby and dropping in a cold. And all that stuff waiting about going to be. But my tongue said, that hell in him. Uh huh. Got <laughs> hell in him. <laughs> it's deep. We get that hell out of me, I tell you that much. Amen. He said, God, wait, you're going to sit in this. He's waiting. You're going to go storing around. See, they're running guard and hiding guard. You can't hide from that hell in him. They were Amen. God will what? Put the fear. Yes, he For he will come like a pent up stream, impelled by the spirit of a dunna. You know, if you get that stream pent up, all that water just backed up and you let it go, it just comes out rushing, destroying everything in this path. And God is coming like that, guess what? You find yourself in the hands of an angry, angry God. I know. An angry God. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, he says, then a redeemer will come to Zion, to those in Jacob who turn from rebellion. So says the John. He says, a redeemer is coming when? When we, when we turn away from rebellion against rebellion against God's word, in other words, when we stop sinning, Amen. we asking God to come in and help us to stop sinning. When we asking God to come in and cleanse us and purge us, Amen. Amen. Then we can have hope of the redeemed. Then we can have hope of salvation. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But you don't want to turn from sin. You don't want to turn away from wickedness. Guess what? The wrath of God is going to be on you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, And as for me, says Adonai, this is my covenant with them, my spirit who rests on you, and my words which I put in your mouth will not depart from your mouth or from the mouth of your children, or from the mouth of your children's children, now or ever, says the time. He said, when I put my word, when I cleanse and purge you, I'm going to pass it on to your children yes, and to Lord. your grandchildren. Yes, Lord. thank you. Lord. Amen. See. Oh, yes. But we got to repent. Yes, we 
got to get it right with you, sure. Amen. Amen. We got to learn to trust in God. Amen. Amen. With all our heart, all our mind, and all of our soul, all of our being. Amen. Turn from sin. Turn from wickedness. Yeah, Quit rebelling against the word of God. In the name. Obey him. Do as he said. Yeah, Put our trust in you sure. Yeah, so if you don't put the trust in God, you saying, hey, I deny your power, God. Amen. And what you saying? I deny your power. I deny, hey, uh -uh, I can't have faith in you, God. I can't trust you, God. I know. Sin. Sin, right? That's a wickedness. That's not only sin, that's a wickedness. Yes, it is. Amen. When we tell God, I can't put my, I can't trust you, God. By our actions. What we do. Amen. Amen. I know that we said something this day that will help us make it into the kingdom of God if we will obey the word of God. Out of the apostles spell spoke a word, amen. From Tehillim 78, amen. Amen. That will help us make it into the kingdom, but we got to work quick and rebelling against God's word, amen. We have to make changes, amen. We got to put our faith and trust in God for everything. We got to get our hearts purged and cleansed. Hallelujah. And walk in holiness, walk in righteousness, amen. Amen. I'm praying. And we're praying that this Passover, that people will have a heart change, amen. That the heart, a lot of hearts will to be what, circumcised. In other words, that all sin will be cut away from our hearts, our minds. And that we will live react, live holy. You sure as soon as we return, I know people we've been saying for years and years and years. But we're so much closer. I am. We're right there at the door. And I believe the door's already been open now. He's coming through. Amen. Amen. We better be ready. Amen. Yes. We better be ready. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is Spirit of God for Jesus Christ Messianic community. We invite you to attend services with us. We have services at 6 p.m. on Friday evening, beginning of the Shabbat, and 11 a.m. on Saturday morning, Sabbath day. We're located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. If you care to uh, write us or you want to send in an offering, or you just want to uh, uh, make contact with us, something that we said, just like or dislike, and you want to go up there and address it, you may write us at 49, excuse me, at P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. Amen. We're pure gospel, Jesus Christ, Mason County Community, P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. If you care to contact us by email, uh, whatever your concerns may be, amen, you may email us, uh, Apostle Kerry Ghost's uh, uh, email address is jesuswoman at frontkid.com. If you care to email me, I'm Chief Apostle Norman Ghostin. My email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net and this information you will find on the credits, amen, and you can address us there, uh, you can uh, get the information there. If you care to call us, you may call us at 251-593-3671 or 251-593-3683. Also, we want you to uh, 
And also we have Cash App, amen. You can send uh, donations or offering through Cash App. You can just find the information there uh, on the screen. Uh, we want you to have Bible studies. We suggest that you have Bible studies in, in your homes, amen. Uh, and let God come in and ask God to give you understanding of the word and have a Bible study at home. Amen. For that you know what thus is the Lord for yourself. But ask God to lead you and guide you. Ask you sure, because He wants us to know Him. He makes it available for us what to know Him. Amen. Amen. So please have a Bible study. And we want you to pray with us. Please pray with us. Every evening at 6 and 9 p.m. These are some designated times that Yeshua sure has given us to bombard Him. Amen. And to send in our requests and supplications to Him. Look around you. There's so much to pray for. So much. Stop being selfish. And pray. But remember. You've got to be saved. You've got to be Holy Ghost filled in order for God to hear your prayers. Amen. Look at John 9, 31. He did not hear the prayers of a sinner. He did not hear it. Amen. Amen. You can get mad at us and all that. We didn't write the scriptures. Amen. The scripture was here way before I was born. Or any of us here that were born. Way, 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 way. Amen. So, trust the word of God and live it and be holy. Amen. But I would also like you to, uh, we do have a, uh, uh, a PGJCM uh, discount casket stores. Amen. Uh, which is located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84 here in Crystal City, uh, Alabama. Uh, the phone number is 364 Excuse me, our phone number is 251-593-8336. Amen. I'm giving out uh, something else. I don't know what I'm giving out. Amen. 251-593-8336. Uh, uh, we're going to make some changes in the store, hopefully. Amen. We're going to start building some of my own casket, wooden caskets. Amen. Uh, you can be able to sell them to you at discount uh, prices. Amen. Um, so hopefully it will give you more detail on that, amen, but we, we want you to have uh, peace and shalom in your families, amen, and I tell you, the wrong time to buy a cast is at the moment of grief. That's the wrong time to buy a cast because people want to take advantage of the grief, amen, they're going to overcharge you, amen, that's why you see funeral prices are around 15000 $16,000 of the average, amen. And that's why we even have the uh, green, uh, PGJCM uh, Green Burial Cemetery, which is a, a natural burial cemetery. That's what the green burial means. It's a natural burial cemetery. That means that you do not have to be embalmed. You don't have a need of a casket. Uh, you don't need to have a vault, amen. But that you can go ahead on and uh, Wash clean your own loved one yourself, amen. Uh, your loved ones won't be traumatized by the things that they, by a stranger, amen. Looking on them, amen. Uh, and things that strangers may uh, do to your loved ones. But you can treat, you know that you're going to treat your loved one with dignity and with respect, amen. And this is what way that. Uh, things were done in times of Yeshua, beforehand, in times of Abraham, Moses, Amen. We always took care of our loved ones ourselves. So we're doing things the biblical way when you use natural burial. God said that we came from dust and to dust we shall return. And you want, and a lot of people want to try to stop that process, the natural uh, process of decomposition of the human body. The human body is made to decompose. It's made to uh, return back to dust. It's not to last forever and ever. Our soul was the one that's going to last forever. That's what we must be concerned about. 
But anyway, you can have a uh, green burial, uh, green burial uh, funeral starting at what, $777. Mm -hmm. And that takes care of everything. Amen. Everything except for the closing and opening and closing of the grave. Amen. You can open and close the grave yourself or you can hire somebody or we can find somebody for you or we'll do it for you. Amen. But think about it. $777 versus what? $15,000. When they say $1,500, $15,000 for the average funeral. Amen. I know people want to rebel against that. Oh, I don't want that metal casket, which, which uh, is polluting the earth. Amen. And we're going to try to get out of the, uh, uh, the metal caskets as soon as possible. Amen. Go to all wood caskets, and that's all we're going to be selling. Amen. Amen. Well, may the Lord be with you. Thank you for uh, viewing us. Be blessed. And remember, stay holy. Be holy. Amen. Get holy if you're not. Amen. In your hands, Mother of Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you.